They changed the mind. Right. You misunderstood. No, I did misunderstand. Somebody told me. With wet weather in the forecast, Bobby's priority is to get sand down on the only road in and out of the buckle tract. Fill it up, Doug. At a nearby sand pit, Doug uses the backhoe to load sand into the back of DJ's truck. The conditions, but getting the wood out through the snow is not proving to be nearly as easy. Try to hold. We got to get his road. So we go ahead and get the job done right. This is a A30D Volvo articulating dump truck. If I had to dream of an ideal spotter vehicle, this is what I want. And I could haul 30 tons of sand at one time. So this thing here should get some dirt moved today. Down the road at the sand pit, trucker EJ is hooked up to Bobby's regular dump trailer. Everybody. Bobby's pushing real hard today to haul some sand. Bobby's pushing real hard today to haul some sand. But, I mean, I wouldn't give him no points for neatness. Who taught you how to load? I ain't driving an off-road dump truck. Huh? What, got all over the side? I was in a hurry. I was trying to get loaded before you got by. <laughs> all right, hurry, get out of the way. I try to push EJ. We're kind of in, in a race to see if I could catch him, because he had a few loads on me when I got started. It actually pushes him harder, and it pushes me harder trying to catch him. Probably not fair because I can turn around right here at the back and EJ's got to go a quarter mile up the road and turn around. I've got so much behind me and all, I've got to try to find a big hole back in and then try to come out without getting stuck. I can make about two loads to EJ's one. With a Corbett Timber employee on hand to grade the road, the three-man crew puts in a tough six hours of sand duty before quitting time finally shuts them down. We got about 15 loads of sand on us. Soon to arrive crew, while EJ and Durley finish sanding the road. I can hear some more sand there, EJ. Yeah, and apparently she's got a slow leak in one of the tires, which, yeah, it needs to be fixed. But the tire's not flat, so why are you going to put that truck out of service?